Good morning, everyone. Glad to be alive. I hope that you are too. Flip that switch on. And today we're continuing the same thing, Analoma, the last one, adding Uriana Banda. <clears throat> and remembering that every day is a great day for a yoga practitioner. You can hit the mat one more time. All right, chin mudras, thumb and index finger touching, or even touching the nail, but then you drop the fingers into the palm so it touches what they call the talahidaya marma, the heart gesture place, because it's all about opening the heart. Love is the only thing that I teach, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, no matter what it sounds like, it's all back to getting us into that loving space. So with that being said, find your seat. <clears throat> Gently close your eyes without disturbing the pupil underneath. Take a few restorative breaths to see where you are. So the technique is going to be open nostril inhale, open nostril exhale, vaulted nostril, and then Uriana Banda, upper stomach lock pulled in and up from above the navel, diaphragm to the floating ribs, in and up, and you hold. And then we'll go through the partially closed nostril inhale, open alternate nostril exhale, open nostril inhale, partially closed alternate nostril exhale, and then both nostrils partially closed and alternate nostril partially closed, the four variations, all right? Exhale the breath, raise the hand, open the nostrils, breathe in. Now, block the left, open the right, exhale. Now wait there, pull the stomach lock. And release. Open the nostril. Inhale. Block right. Open left. Exhale. Relax the hand. Uriana Banda. Relax the lock and restore the breathing. Now the exhale is longer than the inhale. And even in light on yoga, Mr. Anga doesn't have you hold Uriana Banda more than eight seconds or so. So don't forget, count your numbers. So you're learning how to make the inhale shorter than the exhale, exhale longer than the inhale, and only an eight, five, eight, ten second at most Uriana Banda. Don't strain yourself. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, open nostril, inhale. Now block left, open right, exhale. Uriana Banda. Release the lock, open nostril, inhale. Block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand, Uriana Banda. Relax and breathe. Third cycle, first round. Raise your hand. Wide nostril inhale. Block left, open right, exhale. Uriana Banda. Release the lock, open nostril inhale. Block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand and stomach lock. Relax the lock and restorative breathing. So according to yoga, when your emotions and your intellect are non-fluctuating, not spiking, the chitta is not spiking. You experience first the tranquility of your senses, then the tranquility of the mind, and then this is followed by, we could call it spiritual tranquility, which is a more mature and rarer form, but it also lets you know that it's arrived because you feel freer than you ever have before from worldly thoughts and cares. Doesn't mean you're sloppy, doesn't mean you don't care about what you do, but it doesn't weigh on you in the same way because the inner world is now coming very alive. All right. Second 
Round. Exhale the breath. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in. Lock left, open right, exhale. Wait there, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, narrow both nostrils, inhale. Lock right, open left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release, start her breathing. Raise the hand, second cycle, second round. Narrowed nostrils, breathe in. Lock left, open right, exhale. Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, narrowed nostrils, inhale. Lock right, open left, exhale. Drop the hand, pull the stomach lock. Release the lock, restore the breath. Now, regulating the inhalation, exhalation, and suspension of the breath, these are the three processes that when we achieve <clears throat> learning how to modulate and maintain the modulation for a longer period of time and direct the mind into the process of what we're doing, then the full benefit of pranayama is conferred. Third cycle, second round. Raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in. Lock left. Open right. Exhale. Narrow both nostrils. Uh, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, narrow both nostrils, inhale. Lock the right, open the left, exhale. Relax the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock and restore the breathing. So when we add the bandhas and the locks, we're really getting much more the esoteric and what I would call mystical physiology of a yoga's approach. That there's a blocked latent potential called the kundalini. And by squeezing the various muscles or contracting different areas of the bodies, we move the prana, the life force, up the spine. And the brain gets the benefit of the extra energy, they call it bindu to ojas, from seed to creativity, and then a lot of the potential that we say we have but we're not using starts to come online. All right, so keep that chest up, and remember we don't function the same way when the chest is caved in and there's any kind of sagging in the torso. It prevents the possibility of maximum expansion. All right, so third round, open nostril inhale, alternate nostril partially closed exhale with Uddiyana Bandha. Exhale the breath, wide nostril, inhale. Lock left, narrow right, exhale. Kuluriyana Bandha. Let go, open nostril, inhale.
block right, narrow left, exhale. Uriana Banda. Relax the lock, relax the hand, and breathe. Now remember, your thorax is not just in the front. The whole chest box, front and back, armpit to waistline on the front, and armpit to back waistline on the back. Raise the hand, open nostril, inhale. I do it to a 12 count. Wait, block left, now or right, I do it to a 16 count. Uriana Banda to an eight count. Repeat, open nostril, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Relax the lock and restore the breath. Remember, you don't have to follow my numbers or cadence. I'm just showing you an idea of if you're counting inside, that's how you learn to space it. Longer exhale than inhale, short amount of Uddiyana Banda hold, not like Antar Kumbhak. All right, last cycle, third round. Raise the hand, wide nostrils, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Uriana Banda. Open nostril, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Drop the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the lock, restore the breath. Make sure your throat is nice and relaxed. It's an interesting place when you make your chin tuck here. There's the hyoid bone, which is the only bone that's not connected to another bone, the only unjointed, non-jointed bone in the body at the root of the chin where it meets the back of the throat. It's the anchor, the bony anchor for the muscles in the tongue. So keep it nice and relaxed. All right, last one. Narrow nostrils on the inhale, alternate nostril narrowed on the exhale with Uddiyana Banda. Exhale the breath, new cycle is going to begin. Stretch your arm up, narrow both nostrils, breathe in. Block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Wait there in Uddiyana Banda. Release the lock, narrowed nostrils, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Drop the hand, pull the stomach lock. Release the lock and restore the breathing. Do the last ones. Continue to increase your efficiency, your ability to accomplish whatever you're doing with a sense of ease, non-strain. So you're subjugating the conditions, but not in a harsh way. You're learning to control with ease and simplicity. Second cycle, last round. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Wait there, pull the, pull the stomach lock. Do 
release the lock, narrow nostril inhale. Lock right, narrow left exhale. Drop the hand, stomach lock. Gently release and restore the breathing. All right, last cycle. Make full use of the space in your torso to maintain the depth and the precise flow of your breath. Of course, eventually, the movement of the breath is to be prolonged and refined according to one's capacity. Exhale. Keep the chin locked. Raise the hand. Narrow both nostrils. Breathe in. Lock left, narrow right, exhale. Wait there in Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, narrowed nostril inhale. Right, narrow, left, exhale. Wait there, drop the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. And gently release and breathe. Eyes closed, slowly raise your head up on your spine, and gently open your eyes. All right. Very interesting practice. Read up more on the locks and the bandhas to understand some of the esoteric uh, <clears throat> philosophy behind the pranayama, separate from the basic goals of increasing your breath capacity, or what it has to do with creating inner heat, and also training your attention so that there's continuity from one level of awareness to another, one mode of awareness to another. So we'll talk about that more in the future. Tomorrow we'll be back with a new cycle for the next seven days. Have a great day. Bless everybody.